Hello preschool friends, welcome back on this Friday. Because it's Friday, that means it is my chance to read you a bedtime story. And the story I chose to share with you today is titled, Big Dog, Little Dog, A Bedtime Story. What color shirt is the big dog wearing in this illustration? Green, that's right, he's wearing the green shirt. And the small dog, or little dog, is wearing the red shirt. The author of this book is P.D. Eastman. So let's take a look. Fred and Ted were friends. Fred was big and Ted was little. If you notice that Fred and Ted rhyme, Fred always had money. Ted was always broke. Look at his pockets. Nothing in his pockets. When they walked in the rain, Fred got wet but Ted stayed dry. They both liked music. Fred played the flute and Ted played the tuba. Which instrument is bigger, the tuba or the flute? The tuba, the tuba is the big instrument and the flute is the small instrument. When they had dinner, Fred ate the spinach and Ted ate the beets. When they painted the house, Ted used red paint, Fred used green. One day Fred and Ted took a trip. Fred went in his green car, and look, Fred's name is on his green car. F-R-E-D, Fred. And Ted went in his red car, and guess what this says? T-E-D spells Ted. Fred drove his car slowly. Ted drove his car fast. When they got to the mountains, Ted skied all day. Fred skated all day. By nighttime, both of them were very tired. Look, said Fred, a small hotel. Fred got a room upstairs. Ted got a room downstairs. Which one of them is on the top? Fred. Fred's room is upstairs and Ted's room is downstairs below. Good night, Ted. Sleep well, said Fred. Good night, Fred. Sleep well, said Ted. But they did not sleep well. Upstairs, Fred thumped and bumped and tossed and turned. Downstairs, Ted moaned and groaned and crashed and thrashed all over his bed. Oh, no one's sleeping well. When morning came, Fred called on the phone. Let's take a walk, Fred said to Ted. A good idea, said Ted to Fred. We can walk and talk. Do you notice the rhyme? Walk, talk. They walked uphill they walked downhill. They made tall talk and they made small talk. Did you get any sleep last night, Ted? Not a wink, said Fred. They are going to be very tired. My bed is too little. My bed is too big. What can we do about it, Ted? I don't know, Fred. Do you have any ideas what they could do? Hmm, let's see. Fred is big and his bed's too little, and Ted is little and his bed's too big. What do you think? I know what to do, said the bird. Just switch rooms. Is that what you were gonna say? Ted should sleep upstairs and Fred should sleep downstairs. Of course, the bird's got the word. Back to bed, yelled Ted. Back to bed, yelled Fred. It's downstairs for me, yelled Fred. It's upstairs for me, yelled Ted. Ted jumped into the little bed upstairs. And Fred jumped into the big bed downstairs. Ted slept all day in that cozy little bed. And Fred slept all day in that cozy,
big bed. Well, that was easy to fix. Big no dogs need big beds and little dogs need little beds. Why make big problems out of little problems? So they just needed the bird to help them out and then they were able to solve the problem, right? Well, that was a pretty silly story, but sometimes if your bed just isn't comfy for you, it's really hard to fall asleep, isn't it? Well, I hope everyone tonight can fall asleep really well in their beds. And guess who's here to say goodnight to you? <gasps> Bedtime Bunny's back. That's right. Are you ready, Bedtime Bunny? Okay. He says, Good night, Joseph. Good night, Charlotte. Good night to Kellen. And good night, Wilson. Good night, Addison. And good night, Maxon. Good night, Ella. Good night, Ariana. Good night, Vera. And good night, Adam. And good night, Mia. Good night, Aaliyah. Good night, Cameron. Good night, everybody, and good night to you, Bedtime Buddy. I hope your bed is just the right size for you tonight, don't you? I think she's already getting very sleepy. All right, everyone, well, you have a wonderful night, and I will see you on Monday to read you another story. Bye-bye.